Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, waiting for the rest to be patched in. Cold War is probably the most lackluster Call of Duty game I've ever played. First, the campaign isn't even on the disc. What is this thing even installing? Because after you go to play the campaign, it's like, nah, you gotta download it. Here's part one. That's right, part one. You'll play a mission in this joke of a campaign, and then it's like, oh, you need to download part two now. Here's another 26 gigabyte patch on top of the 20 you just downloaded. But it doesn't stop there. There's another 20 gig part three. That's right, nearly 70 gigabytes patched in for not even four hour long campaign that they couldn't just put on the disc. Downloading multiplayer and zombies makes sense because it's primarily online, but a four hour long campaign, it's a joke. I for one do understand why so many people love Call of Duty, it's multiplayer, and thankfully it's just as fun here as it's ever been with all of its modes outside of Team Deathmatch. That's usually my favorite mode, but I just wasn't feeling the maps this year in Deathmatch. But I had an absolute blast anyway for hours playing that ultra addicting spawn shoot die gameplay. And it's been a while since I played a Call of Duty game, since World War II. So I'm not sure if these things are new, but I'm loving the new instant respawns here on the next gen. And I also appreciate the camping snipers having a little reflection to give away their location. I've never been a fan of zombies mode, it's obviously here. I can't fairly critique it as it just isn't my thing. But the main reason I play a Call of Duty game, at least in my current life where I don't have the time to sink days into multiplayer, is the campaign. But thankfully I do have the fun and addictive multiplayer to play through while it takes more hours to download the campaign than it does to actually play. Here you play as yourself, during the Cold War, and the campaign actually started with tons of promise. I wouldn't mind if every year we got a well told 3-4 to four hour long story full of amazing set pieces and mind blowing experience to complement the fun multiplayer. And this campaign had its moments, it felt like an interactive movie with great moments and missions, some of the best stealth missions I've ever experienced in a first person shooter. But halfway through the campaign just falls apart, it becomes generic first person shooter level design and storytelling. There's even a section of the game here you're redoing the same thing like 5 times in a row. That's how much you can tell the creative juices have evaporated after an impressive start. I didn't want to stop playing, but I had to to let part 2 download. Such a letdown. Call of Duty is what it is. You know what you're gonna get every year. It never changes outside of the setting, and this is where the letdown comes into play. I'm personally okay with a little 4 hour journey each year, but please put a little more effort and see that effort through. Especially if again, it's only gonna be 4 hours. It better be solid. But once you're done, at least you have some new maps to play with. I give Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War a 7 out of 10. If you played Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at SuperKenGaming. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful. You thought that video was good? Ha! Huh? You should probably watch this video. The very video that's on your screen right now that YouTube hand selected for you out of all my thousands of videos. This is the one that it wants you to watch next. And make sure you're subscribed because I'm not a genie or anything, but I'm pretty sure you get 42 years of bad luck if you made it this far into my video and you're not subscribed. You don't have to subscribe, but I'm just looking out for you. I'm just looking out for your luck and your life.